Two at six, hundreds of dollars in damage to one man's car after a stray golf ball hits his windshield. And now he has to foot the bill for the issue he says someone else caused. So who's responsible? When you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin has a story from Rhodes Ranch. A daily drive to work collided with a drive down the fairway. Michael Pullman lives in Rose Ranch and was passing the golf course. I drove off early in the morning and um, there's a loud bang on my windshield. I didn't really know what happened. When Michael got out of the car, his windshield was shattered, but there was no one around. He says a golfer came running off the course. He says, oh, gee, really, I'm so sorry. Take my phone number. It's not a problem. You know, we'll, you know, we'll take care of it. But the story quickly changed when Michael's wife, Marie, went to follow up. And he said, what are you talking about? I'm not taking any responsible, any responsibility for this. You can't prove that I was the one that hit the golf ball. Marie called Rhodes Ranch Golf Club, and what she says they told her was shocking. He was apologetic, but that they weren't going to have a conversation with him because he's a regular. So we called the golf course. They said the golfer is responsible for wherever their ball goes, not the HOA or the course. But if you get hit, the club will try to help you find that golfer. Murray thinks the golfer should pay them back for the new windshield. What if it was a dog? What if it was a child? What if it was, you know, uh, you, my husband, you know, any other resident? If something like this is, you know, happens, then what? We called a local attorney about this case. He said the golfer is responsible, but there are some assumed risks in living and driving near a golf course. But you might have a case if the course is laid out very poorly or the shot is really, really bad. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. And we looked into this story after Michael emailed us. If you have a story you would like us to investigate, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and be sure to include your telephone number.